Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Haley and if you are new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my little YouTube family. So today I'm gonna share with y'all what is in my diaper bag. I am a third time mama, so I kinda know what you need and what you don't need. Um, with my first two daughters, I felt like I just overpacked and my diaper bag was just always so crazy full and I never used half of it. Um, so I did have the Itsy Ritzy Boss diaper bag with my girls and I absolutely loved it, but it was just a little too large. Um, my other two daughters are really close in age so i needed a diaper bag that would fit i guess a little more like more clothes more diapers pull-ups that good stuff but this time around i just needed something that was a little smaller because i don't need to pack a whole lot like for my older girls i just throw like an extra change of clothes in my jeep now and we're good to go they don't really need a whole lot so this time around i got the fawn mini backpack and oh my goodness i love it so much it is so cute it was very affordable um but it is a little smaller like i said so it was a little different for me but i fit everything i needed to in there everything that you absolutely need for a baby is in my diaper bag so i'm going to share with y'all everything i have packed in it okay, so far so this is it this is the mini um and i have the backpack straps on it because i like to just use it as a backpack that's how i like to use my diaper bags as backpacks i'm not a big fan of the ones you just put on your shoulder um yeah i like backpacks so this is the one that i got um it's really cute so i did add this to it um this little pom-pom thing on the side and then this was on my itsy ritsy boss diaper bag and i just added this to it so it didn't come with any of this it did come with like a crossbody um like you can snap on right here to where you can wear it like that on your side but um yeah, so I just have the backpack straps on it, like I said. So anyways, uh, let's see what's inside this thing. So first, okay, so first, what I have in the front, this front zipper right here, is I put all of my, like, debit cards, my um, driver's license, you know, the money, that good stuff goes in this zipper right here. So it's really easy to get to. I know before I would put my wallet inside of my diaper bag and I can never find it. So I loved this because I love just, you can open it up, pull it out and you know, did I just zip it? I just zipped it up. Pull it out, you're good to go. And then um, in this, so right here there's also like a little pocket. So I have my chapstick in this and then I have a, let me pull my chapstick out. It's really hard with the bump like bending over and stuff and then i have the passy and the little passy clip in here um so it's easy to get to so she needs her passy she can get we can get to it even though my other two never took a passy so i'm hoping this one does um okay and then in the side pocket right here i have my hand sanitizer so you know it's just really easy to get to um gotta have the hand sanitizer for sure and then this side I have my deodorant y'all know what deodorant looks like so I'm not gonna pull that out <laughs> but I have my deodorant on this side I just I don't know I feel like I wear natural deodorant so I'm constantly having to put you know a little more on and especially when you have two kids and then I'm gonna have three you know I'm gonna be sweating it's gonna be a lot when we're out and about so I'm gonna make sure I have my deodorant packed very important and then on the back, I got this really neat little wipe dispenser, and it's actually itsy ritzy, but it is so cool because you can just put your wipes in here, like a wipe pack, and then open it up, and your wipes are so easy to get to. So it's really neat because you don't have to worry about digging out the pack of wipes in your diaper bag. like. I'm just, I like to know where everything is. I want it right there when I need it. And you always need wipes. Even for toddlers, you always need wipes. And then in this zipper right here, I have all of her little diapers. So I got her little newborn diapers in there. It was so funny. They're so tiny. When I got them in, um, my oldest daughter was like, oh my gosh, mom, those are so cute. I was like, I know, it's crazy. I'm going to have another newborn. Um, and then 
And here I have a little changing pad. I mean, yeah, changing pad. Sorry, y'all. Um, this is actually an itsy ritzy changing pad, and it came with my boss um, diaper bag. But um, yeah, it's really cute. I'm sure you can just get them on their website. But um, I did save this because I was like, you know, I can use that for sure because it's very important. I'm not going to shove that back in there right now. Okay. And then on the inside, it just unzips right here. I have a blanket. You always need a blanket. Um, and this blanket is really nice because it's pretty big. So if I want to use it for nursing, whatever, I can. It's thin, very breathable. Um, and then, so, okay, with my last two babies, I was not able to breastfeed for very long because I just never made enough milk. So I always had to have formula. I'm praying this time I don't have to, y'all, because I don't want to have to pack formula around. It's just the pain. Like, I would much rather just be able to nurse. So anyways, if I do, I went on ahead and packed this bag as if I needed to use it to formula feed. That way, I knew, like, how to arrange everything because, you know, when you take formula, like, it's a lot more. So, I did find this really cute um, little, it's not a formula dispenser, but you can put formula in it. Um, come on, focus. There we go. So, it's like a pale pink color, um, but it just... Let me get my light to focus back. Come on. There we go. Okay. So anyways, it just opens up right here. And then it came with this little scoop. Really cool. And then you put the formula in here. You scoop. So it's just like really nice. And I read the reviews on it. And it said that, I think she said that she counted it would hold like 60 scoops. Which is really nice. Because like, I remember back in the day with my girls. Um, I had the... I don't remember what the brand was. Munchkin, I think. Um, so it only, like, one would hold three bottles of formula. So I would, if we were going to be gone all day, I wanted to make sure I had enough. So I had to pack two of those. And it was a lot. Like, that's just a lot to pack. So this is really nice. I'm so glad I found this. Um, and then, of course, I have the bottle. Um, and <laughs> there's still plastic on it, y'all, because I just bought it. But um, these are the bottles that I use for the girls, and it's a um, Juvie Boob bottle. Um, so once they got a little bit older, I did switch to like a stainless steel type bottle. But when they were newborns, I did um, use this one because it's glass. You can see how much formula you're putting in there, you know what they're drinking. My girls, after so many ounces, they had to be burped, which is like most babies. But I um, got my bottle in there. Um, and then I have... A little nose sucker nose bulb i think that's what these are called you have to have these these are so important just in case they choke anything happens like i just think it's so important to have these um so i'm pretty sure i got that one from the hospital though i, I think i did because it's like a smaller one i know they make some ginormous ones but that one's nice because it's a lot smaller um and then i have the diaper rash cream always need that you never know when you're gonna need that thermometer very important to have a thermometer um i remember being out and about with the girls they feel their head and be like oh my gosh are they running a fever we don't know so very important to have this um yeah and they're cheap so it's just easy to small you can put that in there super easy and small um face and body lotion um and i just got these little ones off of honest website so they're just like ones that you can you know they're not huge so it's not like so much taking up in your diaper bag i know with the girls i packed the big huge thing of diaper rash cream of the lotion and it was just a lot so i found these and um yeah i thought they were like i think they're like the travel size is what they call them but i thought they were perfect um and then we have the baby powder and i found this off of amazon i'm really big on like natural stuff um so this is talc free vegan cruelty free non-toxic non -toxic. it's called farmstead laver lavender and chamomile baby powder um it had really good reviews so uh i decided to give this a try is it focusing there we go um 
this time around before I don't really remember what baby powder I used but um yeah I found this and it's small so it fits in here perfect um and then so y'all this is so funny so I never had a um like baggy like dispenser for like dirty diapers I never had that so when my girls had a dirty diaper and like we were traveling or something we would just have to like throw it in the back and yeah so anyways I found these and they're actually for dogs but it was a lot cheaper than buying the ones for babies so yeah this was like three dollars um but I don't know it's called earth rated but anyways the little bag it came with the little bags it was like yeah it was cheap so um I got this instead and I just got it off Amazon but um, I thought it was really nice so got to have the bags for the poopy diapers very important too and then I have okay that's that for that pocket and then you have to have a little bow so I got her bow in here and then um, an outfit to change um, this is her little outfit that says Fendi Wilder because that's her name and then burp rag very important and I'm sure I'll end up putting you know more than just one in here but that's just what I have in here for now because I really don't have that much stuff yet like she's due um, in October so I mean I still have a little ways to go to buy some more stuff but I just feel like that kind of stuff's like the most important to have in your diaper bag um, like I said I would overdo it with my girls and I just I remember like me and my mom would be out and about and I'd be like, okay, can you get me a diaper and wipe? And she'd be like, okay, where is this? And even to like, I just stopped carrying a diaper bag like a month ago and we've had the same diaper bag for two years. No, longer than that, three, four years now. And my mom still can't find the dang wipes. So I'm so glad I found this. It's so nice. And I forgot to show y'all, it just comes off. So these right here, just like, you can snap it on to whatever, or it doesn't really snap on. It just kind of, I don't know what you call it. It just, I guess it's, no, it doesn't snap. I don't know. It just goes on your diaper bag, okay? So, so nice. Love it. They have a couple different colors. But, um, yeah, y'all, I think that's it. That's everything I have in here. Um, it doesn't really seem like that much, but like I said, you don't need a lot and especially like if I can breastfeed I don't have to worry about carrying a bottle and formula and all that good stuff around um but anyways I'm gonna link all this stuff below for y'all um I hope y'all enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful I know when I was pregnant with my first baby I would always search what's in my diaper bag because I just wanted to know what to pack and what you actually needed when you were out and about so yeah I hope this helped and Thank y'all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.